Hey everybody, it is Sunday, and I'm glad that you are with us for another devotional. Uh, we are now in week three. We are still in First John, but we are in week three, day 15. So good job uh, for sticking with it. Uh, we are learning a lot about what God is doing. Uh, if, if there's something that uh, has been special to you and during this time of reading, I encourage you to put, uh, put a comment in our uh, uh, below and tell us, you know, what, what is God teaching you in, in our, uh, in our uh, readings together through Ruth and through 1 John. Uh, we're in um, 1 John chapter 2, verses uh, 20, 28, and then we're going to be going all the way to uh, chapter 3, uh, ending with verse 3. So we're, we're kind of moving through a chapter uh, where there's not a clean break. So uh, if you are uh, following along, I encourage you to, to uh, pause and read the passage if you haven't already. If you have, good, you're caught up. Uh, so uh, this, this passage has one of my favorite verses in it. Uh, it verse uh, chapter three verse uh, verse one says, "See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called God's children, and we are." The reason the world doesn't know us is that it didn't know Him. I love that passage. I love that uh, that that imagery, reminding us what our identity is. And I, I've I've used this this talk before, where I talked about when we eat determine where your identity comes from usually it comes from outside of ourselves so during the playoffs uh, the nfl playoffs the super bowl champion is crowned a super bowl champion and the people that have the authority to call a super bowl champion a super bowl champion is the nfl like i can't just call myself a super bowl champion i have to be named a super bowl champion through my hard work uh which i'm not gonna be uh, but if if I was if I was a um, you know if, if I was an all A student, if I got all A's and, and I became valedictorian, uh, which I didn't do, but if I did, if I was able to do that, then it would be the school who would call me the valedictorian. They would put that identity marker in me to say this person did well in their assignments, and so we give them uh, the title of valedictorian. But did you know that you are called a child of God, not because you called yourself a child of God, but because God has called you a child? That's amazing. It, our identity is not in ourselves saying that we're, we're children of God. It is in God himself saying, this is my family. These are my children. These are the people that I love. Maybe that, that can give you hope today. Because maybe you're struggling with your identity. That is something that, that a lot of people struggle with. They will struggle with who they are. And what, where am I? What am I? What's, what's my purpose? And here's, the, here's something that, that can help you in that, in that journey is that God calls you his child. You don't call yourself God's child. God calls you his child. And that's what makes you a child of God. Is when we confess our sins, when we trust in the blood of Christ, God draws us to him and he's the one who adopts us and calls us child of God. You have an identity that is marked with Christ. Not because of your accomplishments, but because of what God is doing in you. I hope that's encouraging this, this morning. I hope that as, as you uh, prepare for this next week, that you can know that your identity is not based on you. Is based on Jesus and what Jesus has already done for you on the cross. I, I encourage you to, to, to keep continue, uh, working with us through through First John, and we'll see you Monday as we will be in more of Chapter Three.